Throughout human history, many societies have been led by some kind of king or ruler. And when that king dies, he passes down his power and inheritance to his firstborn son. This is often called the right of the firstborn, or the birthright. And this practice wasn't just for kings, but also for families. Yeah, fathers would pass on their authority to the firstborn as the rightful heir of the family estate. Now, the Bible came into existence in a culture where the right of the firstborn was normal and taken for granted. But interestingly, in the story of the Bible, God consistently overturns this cultural norm. Really? Yeah, from the beginning, God regularly selects the younger sibling, the latecomer, and gives them the birthright. 